Who loves cinnamon rolls? Oh my gosh, I love them. And when I make them with yeast and all that, you know, it takes so long. And I uh, was reading this little recipe in somebody's magazine. It wasn't mine, but it was in a magazine and it was an easy cinnamon roll that you actually cook in the air fryer. So I said, oh, that's a double winner. So I'm gonna be using uh, crescent rolls. They recommend crescent rolls. And I'm gonna add a third of a cup of brown sugar and about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and uh, about a third of a cup of powdered sugar. And I'm gonna mix this together with uh, two tablespoons of melted butter. So this is gonna make our crescent rolls. It's gonna turn our crescent rolls into cinnamon rolls. I adore a cinnamon roll with all that ooey gooey icing on top. You know, when Eddie and I was out there flying a lot before COVID, uh, oh my gosh, we'd be in the airports. And those, you know what cinnamon rolls I'm talking about, and you could get extra goop on top. Oh my goodness, it was so hard for me to walk by those and uh, not get one. But I didn't get them, did I, Eddie? No, well, one, maybe, maybe once. Maybe you did. <laughs> oh, maybe once, but you know, I, I could have gotten one every time I walked by one, but I didn't but not because I didn't want it. Well, I know in uh, Minneapolis, depending yes. on which <laughs> yes. terminal we were in, we there, were in. there was one that was worth going to, though, because it had that, that bakery in it, and they had the best cinnamon rolls there. Oh, gosh. That's what we miss about um, Minnesota, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> All right, let's see. I want to make sure I get this right. So combine butter, brown sugar, cinnamon, and salt. And it just calls for an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. So that would probably be an eighth. And um, now it said spread butter mixture over dough, leaving a fourth of an inch border. All right, now let's see what we do with the cream cheese, okay? calls for cream cheese, but that goes in that yummy icing. All right, so we got that mixed up good. So I'm gonna open my crescent rolls. This thing always scares me if it pops before I, before I mean for it to pop. <laughs> Great time of day, I don't think they wanted me to get in this. Okay. So we're gonna unwrap the rolls and you can see I put a little flour down so they won't stick and I may need a little bit more flour. Cause I don't want these puppies sticking. So we wanna just press these together. So it'll make one long piece of dough. All right, now it said uh, spread butter mixture over dough. All right, now let's back up. Uh, roll out crescent dough in one piece, pinch seams together and fold in half. Okay, so we will fold that in half. And we'll pinch it back together again. Now after I pick up what they're putting down, what that recipe is putting down, I may be changing this a little bit. In fact, I am gonna change some of it already. All right, and then what does it say to do? Pinch them together and fold in half, roll dough into a nine by seven rectangle. 
Okay, so I'm gonna have to find my little my little rolling pin. There's my little handy dandy rolling pin. It's trying to stick together, isn't it? Now, their recipe, I think, called for just a regular, an eight ounce tube of crescent rolls. And I don't know what we use, but we're using the jumbo. Because if I make cinnamon rolls, I wanna have as many as I'm capable of making at one time. Okay, does that look like, what they say, a nine by seven, Eddie? Got your little handy measuring tool on the side there. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. I know, you know, this is my favorite uh, cutting board and it's, it's a Paula Dean cutting board, uh, Meyer made this for me years ago and it's got your pie circle so you can figure out how uh what size to make roll out your pie crust to okay so it said uh a nine by seven well i can't i can't i don't know if i'll be able to move it eddie that, that looks about right yeah like i said we've actually got more dough than uh, their recipe had. All right, so now we are gonna spread our cinnamon. And sugar mixture. And we're gonna leave about a half an inch border I may need some more cinnamon and butter and sugar since we got more dough. I don't want no skimpy cinnamon roll. <laughs> That'd be just enough to make your mouth mad. Okay, now here's where I'm gonna be a little different from their recipe. To me, a cinnamon roll is not a cinnamon roll unless it has nuts and raisins. So, I am gonna be adding that. Yeah, I could have stood a little bit more sugar, couldn't I, Eddie? Maybe that'll be enough. They say, leave how much? A fourth of an inch. So I've left more than a fourth of an inch. So let's bring that out a little bit more. You know, if this turns out good, what an easy way to satisfy a cinnamon roll craving. Because once I know what I'm doing, this is going to be really, really easy. Okay, now I've got to go stop and uh, find my nuts and my raisins. This is the beauty of cooking, y'all. You have the ability to make it any way you want it. Express yourself. That look like enough nuts, either. Yeah, that looks good. I don't, I don't want to be shy of no nuts either. <laughs> All right, now here come these wonderful raisins that just add a little bit more sweetness to it. I love raisins. I love raisins in my oatmeal cookies and in my cinnamon rolls. 
So I thought I'd tell y'all, make it, make it the way the recipe has been given the first time. But, you know, I've just been in the kitchen long enough to know <laughs> that uh, I like nuts and raisins. <laughs> So here we go. It said to um, start at the long on the at the long side, roll up dough like a jelly roll. Okay. Ooh, this is gonna be good. Ooh, ooh. This is the way, uh, now I'm gonna dampen that seam just a little bit. See if I can get it to seal. Okay, I'm gonna dampen that seam a little bit better. Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna try to bring all my filling all the way to the end. I think we're gonna have a good, right good cinnamon roll, y'all. All right, now let's see if they Let's see if they recommend brushing it with an egg. No, they don't recommend cooking it with an egg. I mean, coating it with an egg. Okay, so they just tell us to cut. And make six cinnamon rolls, but I think that we're going to get more than that because we use the larger crescent dough. You do want to make sure that you cut them all about the same size though. Ooh. That tells me something's ready. Okay. Look at these. Y'all, I got to check something in the oven. Y'all talk amongst yourself. <laughs> and I think these are gonna probably cook beautifully, y'all, because you know how good my biscuits bake in this. The biscuits are wonderful. Ooh, I'm so excited. A cinnamon roll in like 10 or 15 minutes. Yay. could have rolled them a little bit tighter. But, uh, but I didn't have them in the right position. You know, when I started rolling up, I should have turned it towards me. And I would have had a tighter, tighter roll. All right. I'm gonna get those to spray. And I'm gonna put them in our air fryer at uh, 350. For 10 minutes. 
and I'll be checking those because I don't know what kind of air fryer they were using, but I know it wasn't a Paula Dean. It was a kind of a small air fryer. So I'm gonna keep my eye on that. Uh, but while they're baking, I've got to make our top to go on these hot cinnamon rolls. Cause to me, it's the best part. This is my first check, y'all. And they are looking good. But I'm gonna cook them. You see, I'll, I'll cook in my air fryer. I'll usually cook on like 400. But this recipe called for 350. So I'm bumping it up to 375 and I'm adding another five minutes. So in your air fryer, if you have an air fryer or you putting this in a regular oven, uh, you'll just have to play with that time until you get it right. Okay, so y'all uh, saw what the cinnamon rolls look like after 10 minutes. Because <clears throat> I usually cook on like 400 degrees, but I'm doing what the recipe said and starting at 350. Uh, but I did bump it up to 375 and I added another five minutes. All right, so I'm gonna make that delicious, uh, gooey topping that we love so much on cinnamon rolls. Now the recipe calls for two tablespoons of half and half, four ounces of cream cheese. Did it call for four ounces or three ounces? I added a good another ounce because uh, the recipe said it made six cinnamon rolls while well, mine made because I was using the grains. <clears throat> Mine made two, four, six, eight, ten. So I might need a little bit more of the icing. So it called for a third of a cup of powdered sugar. Well, I'm doing a heaping cup. And I'm just... All right, I'm going to get a little vanilla. I don't know if they add as for vanilla, but uh, I'm coming out with uh, my own vanilla spices, and I can't wait to share these with y'all. So this is vanilla paste. So I'm gonna add just a little bit. You can see the paste is a little thicker than vanilla the regular vanilla flavoring. Wow. Woo -hoo -hoo. Look at these. Now, so in our, our air fryer, cooking at 350 degrees, these took 15 minutes. But had I been cooking them on 400 or 375, they might have gotten done in uh, three minutes, uh, 10 minutes. All right, so Teresa, yes, I'm so excited about these, I can't think. Do we have a platter or something I can take these out and put them yeah, on? Yeah, right, right here on the... Uh... Oh, yay. I was gonna say, you're asking me, I don't know where everything is yet. <laughs> Eddie moved this piece into the kitchen, y'all. This was actually in the laundry room at River Bend uh, for us to fold clothes on. And so Eddie said, you know, we just need something else down here. So he put it in here and now I am, well, what is going on? And now I am so dependent on it. It's got to stay there forever, Eddie. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take these out, put them on our platter. They look delicious. And remember, I always recommend spraying uh, your biscuits or any kind of dough that you're making.
All right, those in the front. I have found that uh, in an air fryer, the food in the back tends to uh, cook not as fast. So I'm gonna take these, yeah, I'm gonna take these and uh, put them back in just for a few minutes. There you go. All right. Here we go, the best part. Pretty. I'm just amazed that we can have a cinnamon roll so quick. All right. Y'all want half or whole? Any particular one? Nope. <laughs> Eddie, you, you want half or whole? You know you want. Well, Eddie's kind of been watching what he eats. He's, I know. Because I've been watching him, what he eats. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with a quickie every now and again, y'all. And that's pretty good for a quickie. <laughs> really? Isn't that yummy? It's about as good as those that you buy in the airport. <laughs> Nasty, Michael. They got boogers. They got boogers in them. That triangle. What? Turn around and look at it. <laughs> <laughs> you got stuff all over Do your face. Do I? Well, that's what makes it so good. So I'm so glad I saw this recipe. Um, you made it your own. Uh-huh. Yum. So next time, and there will be a next time, the next time I would need to make these with no nuts and no raisins so our little toddlers can have one. I didn't think about that. I was just thinking about big old fat guinea. <laughs> So do try this, it's worth it. Y'all, Max is back in a diaper. He's up, he's back to his evil ways. He's pee-peeing where Pumpkin the cat has been. So when he comes in here, he has to have on his diaper. And I just had me a treat. I had the most wonderful cinnamon roll. So, Lulu's <laughs> everything. Do you want that treat? <laughs> do you want that treat, little girl? You want it bad? Look at do me. you want it bad? Look at me. Say, I want it so bad I can't hardly turn over. <laughs> All right, everybody see it. You know why I can't get in these bags anymore. They make it so hard to get in them. Okay, y'all just be patient. Be patient, my little cheerings. I can't do it. Can't do it. All right, here. we'll try it this way. Say, I'm gonna be over the mark. I got it. All right, sit. Max, nice. you're such a good boy. All right. There you go, sweet girl. All right, my baby, is that what you want? Is that what you want? <laughs> oh my goodness. I feel like if I have a treat, they have to have a treat too. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.